Hi everybody, this is Patty Ann here and I'm thinking about doing a weave along. Um, I've downloaded this um, free project planning guide from Weaving Today. You can see the title of it here and you can Google it or I'll put the link up at some point. But anyway, for the weave along what I was thinking I would do is uh, start on page 11. Now I have to tell you I am an absolutely no expert in any of this. I'm learning right along with you. I'm, I'm, I love to weave. Sometimes it just drives me nuts trying to do this figuring. So I'm trying to learn along with you as I do this. So anyway, on page 12, it says it's 12 months, 12 year weaves, and 12 towels. The towel that I was going to do for the weave along was the March one. And if you scroll down just a little bit, you can see that the March towel, the structure for the March towel is overshot. The equipment, and let me make this just a little bit bigger, the equipment needed for this is a four shaft loom with a 20 inch weaving width. Now here's the problem right off the bat for me. I have several looms, but the one I plan on using for this project only has a 19 inch weaving width. It's the Wolf Pup. So right off the bat I know I'm going to have to alter something because I don't have that wide of a weaving width. I do have a 10 dent reed and I do have two shuttles, so I'm good there. For warp, who says to use 22 pearl cotton, which I will be using uh, for both the warp and the tabby weft. For the pattern weft, I'll use 8-2 on mercerized cotton, which I also have. At a later time, I might go over this with you uh, to try to discover what you're determine what you would use for your set and how many ends you would have, etc. If you were using 8-2 cotton for your warp. But right now, we'll just go by what it has here, 22 pearl cotton. The warp length, it says it's 595 ends times 6 and 1 third yards long, which allows for the take up in the loom waist. The set is 30 ends per inch, which is 3 ends per dent in a 10 dent reed. The weft is 30 picks per inch in plain weave areas and 60 picks per inch in the pattern areas, 30 tabby and 30 pattern. Again the dimensions width in the reed is 19 and 5 6, you might as well say 20 inches. The woven length measured under tension on the loom is 192 inches or 38 inches for each towel. The finished sizes you get 5 hem towels 19 by 35 each. Now Here's the problem again for me, and this may not be an issue for you, but maybe you have an even narrower uh, weaving width, and you can come up with your what you need to do by following the same idea. So let's just remember, it said we have 595 ends. Let's look on the next page because it will show us, well here's what the uh, towel looks like, it's right here and supposedly those are shamrocks but they don't look like shamrocks to me there we'll see anyway up here is the draft for the march towel you're only going to concern yourself with what is at the top here the threading what is at the right here the tie up and what is going down here or the treadling you won't need to concern yourself with this number two warp color because notice it says for the September towel and this is for the September towel so we can ignore all that we just need to know the draft for the March towel. Now again it said for the March towel we will wind a warp of 595 ends and that's if you have 20 inch weaving width. I don't. I only have an 18, I'm going to say an 18 inch weaving width. So what shall I do? I need to cut off two inches. All right, now let's think about this for a minute. 
I'm going to slay my reed or I'm going to warp my loom at 30 ends per inch. If it's 30 ends per inch and I need to deduct 2 inches because my reed is not wide enough to accommodate that, how many ends do I need to take out in order to be able to weave this towel? 30 ends in each inch. I need to get rid of 2 inches, so obviously it's 60 inches. So I can come right up here, and I'll notice on the threading here, I have this big long line of stuff. Okay, and there's this 15 right here, and it says to reap. What that means is you're going to start here and thread all of this stuff, all these ends, then you're going to repeat it again for number two repeat. I'm going to go through to this line, come back to the beginning, thread again for number three repeat. And I'm going to do that 15 times. But for my purposes today, I can't do that 15 times. I have to get rid of 60 ends so that my warp will fit on my loom. So I'm going to see how many threads one repeat is. Maybe I can just get rid of one repeat and that will get rid of my 60 ends. Did I say 30 before? I meant 60 because it's 30 per inch. Anyway, I need to get rid of 60 ends. So let's see, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. All right, there are 38 ends in each of these repeats, so getting rid of one repeat won't be enough. Getting rid of two repeats will be too much, but that will be fine. So what I'm going to do is get my calculator and I have 38 ends times 2 equals. So I'm going to be deducting 76 ends from the 595 that originally it says I need down here. So remember the 76. So I'm going to clear it. 595 minus 76 equals. So the total number of ends that I'm going to warp or I'm going to wind are 519. And I'll have to remember instead of repeating this repeat area here 15 times, I'm going to do it 13 times. And I've actually written that in a little note to myself right here for my 19 inch weaving width, or I should say 18 inch, because that's what I'm going to end up with. Um, I would warp 519 ends if using 22 cotton set at 30 ends per inch. Okay, so that's the very first segment in our weave along. So try to figure out how many ends you need to warp or wind, okay? Uh, if you have a different width of a um, loom that you're using and you need help figuring it out, please leave a comment below and everybody can kind of chip in and help. Um, and like I said, in the, in, in the future, we might even visit uh, if you're going to use 8-2 cotton as your warp instead of 22. How would you change that? This stuff kind of boggles my mind sometimes, but doing this little weave along helps me because it makes me settle down and think in an orderly fashion. I'm not usually orderly. So I hope you'll uh, weave along with me or at least uh, have some fun thinking through these things if you're a new weaver. And again, I'm no expert. I'm learning right along with you. Thanks. See you again. Oh, here's what here's my idea for the weave along. How about we all get our stuff ready, have your ends wound and questions already answered and um, your warp wound by, let me look on my calculator on my calendar right quick. Let's see, today is February 26th. How about by March 8th, which is a Saturday, you have your warp wound
And if you have any questions, uh, send them below or email me or find me on Facebook, something like that. Thanks. Bye.